What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Hogwarts Legacy on the Nintendo Switch. We are getting very, very close, and I just kind of wanted to go through some of my opinions of, you know, is this game going to even work on the Switch? There's some excitement, some worries, uh, but also some news. You know, today, digital pre-orders are available, and we actually get some ideas as to what this game is going to look like on the Switch because you can, you know, when you go to pre-order it, you can do digital on the Nintendo, you know, eStore. So I believe we get six six pictures in all plus like the box cover which I don't really think you can read into too much and you know I'll cycle through the pictures so you guys can see it they're not the worst looking things on planet earth I wouldn't necessarily say they're good but look at, at the end of the day I don't want to make this come across like this is uh, the worst thing on planet earth I'm aware of the situation I'm aware of the value of putting a game like this I actually think this is a brilliant idea you know for a game that I love for this game to like just get in the face of all these game journalists make them so upset for this game to have sold so freaking well, right, at launch. And seemingly, from what we can tell, you know, from sales pretty much every month, this game has done really well. Like, it obviously has dropped off, but I think it's still selling really, really good. And I think once this game comes out on Switch, we could probably get an updated sales number or maybe for the one-year anniversary, you know, next February. Maybe they say the game has sold, you know, X million amounts of units. So I think this game is going to do really well on switch just for the simple fact that taking it on the go there's a lot of value there I mean, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pitch you the idea of the nintendo switch but obviously all the value that it brings at the same time okay so that's the positive right i want this game to do well obviously i've always wanted to do well i want it to sell i think it will sell a couple million units on the switch i actually firmly believe that I believe that for a long time that's the positive the negative is i'm sorry you know i don't, don't want to come across so super negative but you've seen some of the recent examples of games games coming out on the Switch, and I don't think it's unfair to say, in fact, literally everybody on planet Earth, including the industry, the gaming industry itself, obviously games have moved beyond the point of the Switch. The Switch is too old, the Switch is not powerful enough, and when games come out ever increasingly, right, like you're seeing it more and more as these last couple years have gone on, and people have warned about this like a year and a half ago, that hey, we're kind of moving past the point, like things aren't working on the Switch anymore, it's too old. That was like more than a year ago, and now we're here where things are, now obviously next year the next Switch is going to come out and it'll be as powerful as the PS4 Xbox One, so that'll be a little little bit better right uh, but it won't obviously still touch what the ps5 and series x can do and that's being reflected on the games that you're seeing i mean i've made videos on mortal Kombat. what, what i guess scares me like look they're not the same developer right like avalanche and nether realm not the same but you look at what mortal Kombat looks like on the switch and it's despicable it's actually it's actually and i said this it's actually insulting that you are charging the same price now i understand like graphical limitations and, and we went into like a whole discussion of this when the Mortal Kombat one thing happened but like to charge the same amount for the Switch version as say the PS5 version and for the Switch ver and I'm saying like for Mortal Kombat and for the Switch version to just be insultingly bad in terms of you know the looks and all that how can you justify and I mean they are I mean the game is selling at the same price but how can you even justify paying the exact same price for a version that's so massively worse right and I don't want that for Hogwarts Legacy. Now, that's all under WB Games, but it's not the same team. I've been saying it for a while. You know, I joked back when Hogwarts Legacy came out that it would, like, light the Switch on fire. Like, the Switch literally wouldn't be able to handle it. I was kind of kidding, but you're seeing games come out on it now where, yeah, they look like they're a PS... Not even PS3. They look like they're PS2, PS1, you know, era. You look at that freaking Mortal Kombat, guys. Come on. I mean, you, you can't deny how terrible. And it's not the only game. That's just the newest example. There are so many games that simply the Switch cannot handle, right? And there's nothing really, I guess, you can do about it. Again, on the flip side, it's like, hey, well, it'll sell 2 million units and it'll be just fine. Now, honestly, I got to be real. Like, when you look at these pictures, they don't, like, again, they don't look absolutely terrible. But you imagine this is probably as good as it's going to get. You're, you're not going to pick a bad pictures for the promotional, right? Like, this is the store page for Hogwarts on the Switch, right? You're not going to have, like, the worst-looking things on planet Earth. This is the game probably firing on all cylinders and the best that you can possibly get it. So I do just get worried, and, and I'm sorry, you know, that, that that's the opinion, but I, I really don't think it's all that crazy. I am, at the same time, excited as I am nervous of this game coming out on Switch, and we finally get to see it in just a few weeks from now. And again, I want this thing to sell a couple million. I'm excited for it to do that. 
that. I, I can't wait to see the articles, you know, bashing it again. Like, that's going to be so much fun. But on the flip side, well, I will say this, right? We know journalists already – they, they hate this game without even playing it, okay? So if this game comes out – and it's terrible, say, like a Mortal Kombat thing. It deserves. It deserves criticism. But you know journalists will kind of take it one step further, which, you know, you don't love to see that. But at the same time, I, I don't want to, like, gloss by that first part. If this game comes out and it's like Mortal Kombat or like any of the past, like, 20 games that haven't worked on the Switch, it deserves to get destroyed. Because from my perspective, like, it's funny, okay? Like, there'll be, like, internet things that go on or pictures and, and memes and stuff. But beyond that, how I look at it primarily is what I said and what I argued for Mortal Kombat. You're charging the same price. You're charging the same price for a vastly underpowered or just not it's it's not even close to being an equal version of this game and so that's that's my argument if this game doesn't work is that would be why are you charging the same price so that would be my argument but again I mean it hasn't happened yet so we can't read into it too too much I don't have a ton of confidence not in Avalanche and not in Hogwarts Legacy I don't have a lot of confidence in the Switch itself and you know again that's the thing that pretty much everybody is agreed upon at this point so I'm looking forward to it I am certainly not getting it I'll tell you that though right now so let me know in the comments if you're getting it, if you're excited to see what this thing looks like and runs like on the Switch. I'll sure I'll cover it. I'll do something on it once it releases. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.